Hey there, JD. Jim Duchesne. Here's my VR to you, and howdy to everybody else out there on YouTube. Well, I'm sitting out here on my front porch, smoking a pipe. I'm cooking up a tri-tip. A little break in the weather. Uh, I know you're up there getting flooded out right now there, Jim. And you can send it down south a little bit to us. But, uh... This is my VR to you. And your question was Deserted Island Pipe Tobacco and Cigar for the rest of your life. Well here we go. I predominantly carry a corn cob pipe. So, mine would be a corn cob pipe. And that's where you're saying a corn cob pipe isn't going to last. Well, since I was going out on the SS Minnow and I needed my survival gear, I went over to Max. At Defiant Pipes, and he's selling a kit right now. And there's the three C's of survival, and it is cutting, cordage, and cob. So it comes with a knife, it comes with some cordage, and it comes with genuine Missouri Meerschaum seeds for growing corn cob pipes. Imagine that. So I have my infinite amount of corn cob pipes after I burn through my one pipe. Which would be a country gentleman. Right now I'm smoking this just because. So I've got a corn cob pipe and I've got my crop. And guess what? I'm far red, so I can grow them. It is what it is. So then as I go trucking down this desert aisle with the uh, Marianne, not Ginger. Marianne was a, a better one for me. Go trucking along. I go and I open up this box that has been busted open on the beach. I go and I open it up. Look inside. Holy crap. It's cases and cases and cases and cases of Frogmorton Cellar in there. Jump for joy that it would be the rest of my life smoke right there. So I go over and I, since in our boat wreck I trenched the last of my tobacco, and these are perfectly sealed by good old McClellan Tobacco Company. Grab me one open, dump off the top, pack me a bowl, keep on trucking down this desert aisle. Talk, talking around with sweet little Marianne. Walking along. See another case washed up on the beach. Go over. Crack it open with a 2 by 4 trusty K-bar, some sort my my survival knife that I got from Max at Defiant Pipes. Go over. <clears throat> Lord and behold, it's nothing but Rocky Patel Church Hill 1992. And that would be what I would smoke for the rest of my life. Those are the two blends and the two things that I would smoke for the rest of my life. Of course, unless I happen to get myself a Jim Duchesne pipe. But, I don't know. That's just a little kissing up right there. So, 
Take care, buddy. Congrats on your 100 subs. You're going to end up with 1,000 before you know it. You are a true artisan. You come up with some beautiful pipes. And I hope really to own one one of these days. Take care. Bye-bye.